Hello, hello, hello. Hope all of you are having an awesome day. I'm super excited to do the training today. So we have about four minutes and we're gonna get started. So get ready, get your pen and paper ready, have your phones ready, cause we're gonna do some fun stuff. And I just did a TikTok uh, while I'm doing this at the same time. Catching on to that social media stuff, it's so awesome. Hey, Stefan, how are you? It's great to have you. Yesterday's training with Eric Worre, day 15, was, was absolutely awesome. And uh, it, we're going to bring a lot of what we've already done in our 90 days, up to, up to now in the 90 days, the last 14 days, but bringing it over to social media. And, and uh, Eric had a special guest, so I'm going to share the, the stuff that she shared with us. And, and uh, it actually really fired me up to want to do a whole lot more on social media. You know, I think often we overthink so many things, which prevents us from doing the things that we need to do on social media, which is relationship building. And we're doing this already with our organic market, right? So we get another three minutes to go. So get ready for it. And they say to take your products when you're online. <laughs> is to create the habit of doing that so people are curious. People always want to know what you're up to. So we'll get started very shortly. And make sure you got a pen and paper handy, as I mentioned. And if you're catching this on the recording part of it, uh, same thing. Always take notes. And that's going to help uh, the information to go in. And always review your notes. Always go back and listen to recordings because that's how um, you end up, you know, learning quicker is by repetitive, 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 repetitive. Don't just look at something once and walk away from it. You got to keep doing it over and over and over and over, especially when you're new at doing things. So anyways, yeah, super excited. Hey, Neil. How are you? Thumbs up, hearts. Are you looking forward to today's session? I know I am. I'm super, super pumped about today's session. It's like a repeat for me, but it's, it's super fun. Got another couple minutes to go before we get started. Give everybody a chance to catch the live. If you're driving, you might want to pull over. <laughs> and uh, if you're running around like I'm always doing in the house, you just got to put yourself in, in a space, in a room where you're doing something with this. Alrighty, one minute to go. So I hope you, you have the um, the diagram that I put up there. I guess that's PowerPoint slide is what it is for day 15. I hope you have that. Um, make sure that you take a screenshot of it because that's basically what we're going to go through. And then you have your assignment challenge at the end, which um, I'm still working on to, to get them in today with my TikTok. TikTok's very, very new for me. Um, but I'm doing quite well with it. And I'm going to kind of share with you what I've been up to with all of this stuff too. So if you don't have TikTok, you definitely want to download TikTok, get yourself an account and start connecting with people. That's social media. It's just connecting with people. Alrighty. So it is 1 PM Easter standard time, my time. And it is I'm in Daytona Beach, Florida, and it was absolutely freezing this morning. And Daytona is not that cold, especially this time of year. It's just one of those um, extra cold days. That's why you see me with a, a, a jacket here is because it's been chilly in, the, in our condo. So wanted to connect with all of you. For those of you who don't know me, Tammy Seller Jingra, Crown Diamond, and uh, Chris and I build this business so passionately. And uh, he's in the other room actually doing the opportunity, the BOM, while I'm doing the, the training segment of the 90 day run. And I hope that you're really serious about doing this because even if you have an off day, get back on the next day. Because it's, it's normal to go through that, especially when you're new doing a 90 day drive because it seems to be quite long. 90 days is like, what? But every day you take one 
day at a time, one step at a time. Remember, don't beat yourself up in the process. You're learning, you're growing with all of this. But I can tell you one thing, I've been in the industry for 25 years. And every single time our organizations went into momentum, it's when we were doing 90 day drives. When everybody came together and we said, let's do it, we're in, all motivating each other, getting each other, doing the activities, um, and you know, staying on a platform together. So you're all working together and picking some people up. Sometimes you have those days. So remember that, don't do this alone. Get your team together. Talk, discuss about some of the assignments you're doing, what's working, what's not working. Um, create some fun challenges together. And I, I know I did day 10 and I talked about a lot of this stuff too. So we're gonna learn um, how to learn, first of all. We're taking everything that we've learned organically with Eric Worre and all the assignments that we've been doing organically in our hot market, warm market mainly, and uh, with all the scripts that we've learned and applied, I hope you applied them. If not, go back and do this because you got to get this practice going, right? You got to keep doing it and practicing. And you know what? Who cares if you screw up? They don't even know you're screwing up. So don't ever think that, that people are, they know what you're, what you're up to. They don't even know. Most people don't even listen to half the words you're saying anyway. So don't get all wrapped up in, in, in this. I think a lot of people get too wrapped up and they beat themselves up along the way and then they don't want to do it anymore. Don't do that. Don't do that. Just make another phone call, make another uh, text and connect with somebody. Even if you get some, some people that say no, I always put them on my maybe list even when they say no, because there's 365 days a week uh, in, in a year. There's 365 days in a year. Listen to this. You just got to catch them on the right day. Yesterday might have been a no day for them because they had a lot of stuff going on. So when you understand that, everybody goes on your, uh, your maybe list that say no to you right now. Everybody, because you always want to get back and build relationships, okay? So uh, I hope you got some great results doing this. If not, again, go back, go back, go back, review, 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 and keep practicing, practicing, practicing. You will get there. Okay, so now we're gonna make a shift uh, to social media. And I'm not a guru on social media. That is my goal this year, is to be a guru on social media. So you're gonna see me a lot more on social media. I'm getting more and more and more uncomfortable to be comfortable, if you know what I mean. Okay, and that is to, to, no matter how scary it is, I'm just gonna go out there and do it. Even if I, my hair is not done, this is not done, I'm just gonna do uh, consistency, 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 and I need that accountability, So and so do you. So make sure you hang out with people that are gonna keep you accountable. I've got my accountability partners. So uh, TikTok, if you don't have a TikTok account, you wanna get one. Very, very important. Get a TikTok account. Make sure you're on Facebook, Instagram. You want to do a lot of lives. If you haven't been doing lives, do most of it live, okay? As much as you can, as often as you can throughout the day. I know you guys got busy lives, so you're going to have to schedule it. If you're going to, if you're going to add this to an already busy schedule, which is Chris and I, uh, then you, you need to wake up a little bit earlier, figure it out. You got to figure it out. You got to bring this into your routine. Okay. So that's what we want to be doing. And, uh, so the key is I'm going to look down cause I want to read my, my scripts a little bit, the notes that I'm writing here. So you can really grab onto this content and you know what the content is really is what we do daily. People buy you first. That's what they buy. And what I'm understanding on social media is it's so fast. And people are constantly scrolling, constantly. And I know because when I decide I'm, I'm, I'm done for the day and building my business, I'm going to scroll and see what people are doing. And I only stay on for seconds. So knowing that, you want to make some impact in the first few seconds. 
Okay, you don't want to drag things on because your best message might be later and, and they've already scrolled you and you're gone. So try and find things that are fun and creative and look at people who, who are out there doing it, okay? So Jesse uh, Lee Ward was the uh, guest speaker on Eric Ward's, Ward's platform. She's one of the gurus out there on the social media platform. And uh, so she talks about, she talked about her specific uh, schedule um, to make it doable. It was, it's strategic. Everything she does is strategic and it is a process. So don't beat yourself up. Always understand the process of, of evolving. Okay. You're not going to be perfect the first time. Okay. And she talked about the importance of conversations. Don't just go online and, and give your message. Find out who's there connect with them. I wasn't doing that at the beginning. I was just so focused on what I was doing, but now I'm starting to connect more and more with people. So, hey, Joanne, happy to have you here. And so these are the things that she talks about, her daily method of operation. And she talked about elevate, elevating her uh, social media platform. She hired uh, photographers and just go out and get lifestyle shots, get some dressed up shots, get some dressed down shots, get some shots done at you at the gym. Whatever you do and love to do, go and get a photo shoot, okay? That is gonna help you to elevate your profile, okay? So if, if you're saying, oh my gosh, you know, I don't have any money right now, here, here's what I always like to do. I like to recruit people in that environment, right? So you always wanna find people who are good at the things that you're not good at. Bring them into the business, okay? When, when you help people, people have a tendency to wanna help back, okay? So always think of all the, the types of people that you wanna have in your business that, gosh, you just wish it was so handy right now of, of, to get a few pictures, you know, hang out with them. They'll take some pictures of you. You give them some tips on doing something and, and it's a win-win. So these are some, some things that you can do without worrying about all the costs. These are some, some things that I've done and, um, and do also. Um, so, you know, for ladies, you want to have uh, your makeup done, you know, your hair done. I know that's important. Social media, they're all out there doing this. You can actually do this. She does this on her lives. She literally opens her door to her home and does everything live. And people love it because she's very down to earth. I've seen her do her laundry. I've seen all kinds of things in, in her lives that creates attention. And that's what you want. You want to capture people's attention. And they, they know what you're up to because they do this. Women, you do this on a regular basis. So yeah, she says, bring them into your life. Write that down. Bring them into your life and make content out of that, out of your daily life. Drink your products when you're doing stuff. You know, this is, this is giving me energy to get through this session because I had a super busy morning. I am so excited about the products that we drink, about the products that we have. You know what? I used to drink more coffee. I don't have to drink coffee anymore. See, I'm doing, I'm doing a, a live for you because this drink has replaced it and this is clean, cellular, healthy energy getting rid of all the stuff that's no good for the body. And caffeine is a crash, right? Up and down, up and down. So these are things that you can do in the morning. Just giving you some suggestions, bringing people into your world. If you work out, bring people to your workouts, okay? If, uh, if you're reading a book, bring people to your, your space where you like to read, why you sit in that spot what kind of uh, books you like to read. People want to find people online that are just like them, then they'll follow you, okay? Eating healthy, this is important to me. So you'll see sometimes I, I put stuff out that, workouts are important for me, I put that. I put my meal planning too, and I, and I notice a lot, of, even my friends that are not even part of Max, um, they're meal planning now. They never meal planned before. So I know that my lives and stuff are making an impact on them. And I know that they're following me. And I know that someday, if they end up, one of them was actually a customer, one day 
she, people are looking for supplements, guess who the first person they're gonna tell that they should go and see? Me, because we're friends. She's a customer on the product. She loves the product. She just loves what she does for her career. Now she's getting ideas from me. So there's lots of things that we can learn from each other. Share the things that you love. Share the things that you love, your lifestyle. Even if you don't have the lifestyle yet, know that it's there here, okay? You gotta be able to see it. You gotta know in your mind that it is there and you give that energy like you already have it and go walk on the beach, whatever it takes. Spend one day doing stuff near uh, a hotel pool. Wherever you are, walking on the beach, just do a bunch of videos, have a bunch of stuff prepared. This is something I learned because my, my life is so busy. Have stuff prepared. You know, she talks about all of this stuff. Share your wins. You know, share the wins of your team. Recognize your team. Do some interviews with one of your team member who just got something that just happened to them. They just hit the next, the, the rank that they always desired and, and interview them and share all kinds of stuff. And in, in, the, um, in the, the post that I put, you can see quitbot, uh, quillbot.com. Go check that out. She was sharing that sometimes we're so busy and we're trying to think of content. And we allow things like that to stop us from doing things. You have something you want to say, but you don't know if you're saying it right. Well, this will paragraph and give you proper ways of saying things. So that I really liked because I know that my English is not perfect, even though I'm English and, and uh, you know, I, I didn't go to university. I didn't study long in school. I didn't even have an interest in school. It's so sad to say that because now I have an interest in learning and I'm an adult. So th that, I really enjoyed that. And you wanna connect with the basics in mind. She stressed the importance of that in such a big way. So make sure you just keep things simple that people can relate to you, okay? Be you. Don't go out there and be something that you're not. Um, be you, but be in an environment that you absolutely have a passionate to be around, all right? Everybody knows for me, it's water. Anytime I'm around water, I get this supercharged energy. I, I'm, I just get all this creativity flowing. That's my thing. And everybody knows it. Who knows me? That's my thing. I love it. That's why we have two waterfront properties. And we worked hard. We stayed focused. And we were so committed. And back then, there was no social media presence. Imagine, this was all organic connections. And now we have social media. It's like light speed. I wonder if I said that one right. So anyways, make sure you're, you, you become, you, you're just yourself. Okay. And that is the doing do this all the time. As often as you can, you want to be doing this regularly. And number two in the how to's is the modeling. Follow people you really admire that are getting results on social media. Find out what they're up to and copycat them. That's what they're all doing. It's funny because Chris and I are in this mastermind with Eric Worre, with Anne, and we get to listen to these top leaders of all their companies, and you have to be at a certain income level to, be, to even be in mastermind. So they're really making a lot of money because they, they had to verify our paychecks to, to accept us into the mastermind. So here we are around all this environment and they're all talking about social media and all this stuff that, that's going on and, and everything that, that can happen. And every single one of them said they're copycatting other people. They're copycatting each other. So do it, copycat. Don't, you can become original down the road when you find yourself in, in all of this. Change the words a bit. You know, you'll never be the same as anybody else even if you copycat them. You can never be the same because you're not the same, right? You're gonna have a different energy, a different flow, a different vibe, a different look. So just copycat. Find um, music that you like. When you're on TikTok, like when, when you are on your downtime, just flip through and go, oh my gosh, I like what she just did. Oh my gosh, I saved them. 
So now I got to kick my butt to get doing them now that I committed to doing more TikToks and not letting anything else distract me when I'm doing this because it's so easy to be distracted. So modeling, very, very, very important. If you see leader, leaders do TikTok, go do TikTok. If you see a leader post a great quote, go post a great quote. If you see a leader doing a reel, go do a reel. Do it immediately and copycat. Because she said, and it just makes total sense, she said, We're not, we don't even have the same friends, go do it. Nobody knows. And I'm like, oh my gosh, she's right. Isn't that true? So be authentic, be yourself. Just get out there, follow what other people are doing, model them and, um, and engaging with them too. And then of course, you wanna go teach it. Go online and teach something you just learned. Just, you don't have to be a, a big leader or big trainer. Uh, Jessie was just li like literally opening up the box to us. I'm going, oh my gosh. She said, even when she was new, no, knew nothing about social media, some teacher would teach something. She'd go on and she'd do a live and she'd teach those exact three points. And she says, I wasn't even doing it. I didn't even know what I was talking about, but I repeated what they said. And she would got all these followers from it. So it built her confidence. So these are really, really great things that you can grab onto and don't worry about it. You don't have to be the guru. You just have to get out there and connect with people. People want to follow with people that they can connect easily with. Okay. If you see leader doing a bunch of stories, this is what I'm seeing lately. Go, I started to go doing more stories because I noticed that. So it's funny that she was saying that because I was noticing it and I said, oh my gosh, I got to do more stories. So just little things. And, um, and of course, you always want to be studying uh, what's, what's out there. So don't always ask other people, you know what, that's going to be in the next part anyways, but you don't want to ask, um, always ask people for things. Go and learn. Let me tell you, Chris is, a, a, this guy can do something so easily. He puts videos together. For him, this would be so easy. He doesn't do a lot of social media. I'm the one that has to push him, but we're doing more together. But the interesting part is he's intuitive. I have to go on YouTube. Everything is like, oh my gosh, I've got to learn something again. Got to go on YouTube to figure out how to press the, 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 I went live on TikTok twice and I didn't even know how to get off the live. And then I had to go on YouTube and then I saw the button on the bottom, the little power button. It's like, oh my gosh. So you got to go out and play with it. Laugh at yourself and just learn and grow. And YouTube is absolutely my best friend. Seriously, I've learned a ton on YouTube in the last two years since the pandemic. I don't make excuses on what's happening in the environment because I can't change that. I can only change what Tammy does today and what Tammy thinks about, right? That's the only thing that I can change is myself and the way I adapt in the environment. Okay. So, uh, Eric, um, summed all of that up as Jesse Lee shared so much stuff, so much stuff. And, uh, if you don't have TikTok, get a TikTok account. That is the number one business platform, the number one business platform. Okay. You need to understand this because that there's you don't have to be dancing. I'm not out there doing, doing my thing. I should, maybe it'd be fun sometimes, but you know, you just got to find yourself in there and then eventually get more and more comfortable and you do your thing. So, um, yeah, so these were all kinds of things. Do it messy, do it messy. Doesn't matter what anybody thinks. Don't even worry about it. Even, you know, just say, I have no idea what I want to talk about today, but and then do something, do something crazy. Okay. So just get out there and connect with people. Cause they can, some people you're going to relate to that day and what's going on. Um, save a lot of sounds. She said, uh, real stories, uh, pop-up coaching. She does, uh, she's on live a lot. If anybody follows her, she's on live all the time. 
And that's something that I really don't have a lot of time to do, but I gotta do more of it. And here's what I learned about doing lives. It takes time for people to come on to a live. And I was thinking I was, I was, um, I was taking too long, only to realize um, a lot of people are not even in yet. And I'm starting my stuff. I'm not connecting with the people who are just coming in so that they stay in and engaging and show them what you're drinking and tell them how your day's starting and just connecting with people and recognizing them and, and complimenting them and all kinds of things. And then you get into some content and you'll have, uh, people will stay on longer. And that's another thing that I learned that huge lesson uh, by doing that. So I'm staying on long, longer and you know what? She's absolutely right. I took a, I did a TikTok this morning, took a, a screenshot after my live and you have to be at a certain um, uh, following. I think it's a thousand unless that changed uh, before you can do a live on TikTok. And if I'm wrong, I'm sorry because I'm not up to date on everything. But when I was doing it, you had to have a thousand. And uh, so I did my live and uh, surprising, I went longer. I had more people engaging halfway through. I had 120 people watching me this morning. I have uh, how many thousands of followers now? Probably 27,000 followers now. Um, and so I had 120 watching me and all I did was tell them how I like to wake up in the morning, telling them about what I take every day, uh, how I feel during the day, that I was just about to go do my workout. And, and I talked a little bit about our book. Um, I talked about working from home. It's the greatest decision I've made and blah, 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 blah. And I was just going on and on and just connecting back and forth. And I had new followers over, over and above. So I screenshot that insights, always go check your insights on every single platform. You don't know how to do it. Don't just walk away after this session, go on YouTube. How do I check my insights on Instagram? How do I check my insights on TikTok? How do I check my, and then you'll have an idea screenshot. She says, when it's always in the green and the numbers are growing, that means you're more and more engaged and you're gonna build your followers quicker. And you wanna have a lot of followers, a lot of followers. And I know that's my goal in social media. Okay, so problem solving. Um, what could I do in, in, in problem, problem solving? Well, always find a way that you could do something better and more of. So always keep track. That's what she says daily method of operation. She said uh, she does three TikToks, live TikToks every day. I'm going, ah, oh, okay, so I got to figure it out. So that means I got to do one in the morning and I got to do one after lunch and I got to do one in the evening. So I'm figuring it out. So what could I do that's going to work for me? So you got to think about that for yourself. What can you do? What can you do? And what could you learn? You know, in the process, you're gonna learn a ton of stuff about yourself. You're gonna learn a ton, a ton of stuff about all of this because when you're in action, you learn all this stuff in the process. And then um, what could I ask, you know? Maybe you're, you're doing stuff and you need to ask questions along the way because sometimes I'm like, oh, I try something, I delete it. It's like, oh my gosh, I just deleted it. And then I'll, I'll ask, you know, every once in a while, some of my friends that are gurus, um, in, in the profession, I'll, I'll pop off a quick ask and they just send me a reply. And of course, you don't want to ask first. You got to go out and do first and then learn from what you do. Okay. And then if you're really, really stuck and you screw up like I do, uh, then you, you need a quick, uh, bounce back, do it, you know, ask somebody for, for some help, but don't just count on people. I think a lot of people just want everybody to do everything for them. And it just doesn't work that way. You're never going to be the leader you want to be. If you keep asking other people to do things for you, get uncomfortable and go out and do it. And then you get better. You get so much better. Okay. I know in a year from now, I'm going to be a different person on social media because I made a decision. And I'm going to go out there and I want thousands and thousands of followers, hundreds of thousands of followers. 
and I know it's coming. So it's, it's exciting. Okay. So your assignment, everybody write this down. There's so, she gave so much content. Oh, let me share one more thing that I thought was really interesting. I'm going to work on one more thing. She talked about, she has what she calls tea time with Jesse. And she just answers questions with people. She connects with people, you know, it's the end of her night and I see her do it all the time. I'm like, oh my gosh, she's on and I'm just chilling out, ready to, ready to shut down my day and she's on. Guess what? She's getting all those night owls, just having a tea with them. She was gonna have a tea anyways. You could sit down like in, in a meditation or, or stretching on, on the floor, if that's what you, you do at night, and just connect with people. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm missing out on everything. So guess what? I'm gonna go out and start tea with Tammy, and let's connect, see how your day went. Is there anything out there that, that you'd like to learn? Any networkers out there having some challenges with this? Any, you know, and you just connect with people, all right? And that's how you build your tribe online all right so just go out and do it and copycat and copycat and copycat eventually you'll find yourself in the process and you'll be unique anyways because you don't even look like that. i don't look like jesse lee i don't speak like jesse lee but i can go out and do some of the things that she's doing right so challenge okay so here's what eric put out to all of us three tiktoks live three live TikToks today. And you know what? If, if you're like, oh my gosh, there's no way this is going to happen today. Work on doing three tomorrow. Set it in your schedule to do three tomorrow and try and keep that consistency. That's the goal. Okay. Is eventually create that consistency in your timing of your schedule. So go out and do three. How many people are committed to doing three? Put it in the comment. I want to see more engagement on this platform. It's so important when people see the engagement because when people see you engage, then they want to do it too. Okay, create a lot more engagement in the comments. Okay, and then if that's not going to work today, because I, I actually put three in, in the chat when we had the live yesterday, and I did one. I only did one. But today, I've already done one. I got two more to do. Okay, so I can do this. I actually put a kind of a post and then I did a live. Okay, so now I got to go and do uh, more. And then uh, if that's not going to work, do one every day. One. And in those plus, put the plus beside three TikToks plus income producing activities. You gotta be doing this every single day, asking questions, engagement, getting people following you um, through your asking questions, okay? You wanna create a lot more engagement. Also do reels, also do posts, also do stories. People follow you through your stories. That's another thing that I'm learning a lot about. And of course, if you haven't done that yet, then your homework is to have have an account on every platform. Number one, she said, TikTok, get on TikTok. If you're not on TikTok, that's your assignment. Get on TikTok. Learn a little bit of t about TikTok by going to YouTube, okay? Finding out how to do some things. So that would be your assignment. And uh, so that's it. Each and every one of them are adding on income producing activities all the time. Okay, whether it's organic, social media. I also like to, on, on my friends, on my different platforms, because we're on a lot of platforms now, and um, just organically connect with somebody on a platform and pull them off in a messenger and comment something that you noticed in their platform that you really liked, because these are all your friends. Well, you might not know a lot of them, but let them know that you'd love to get to know them more and to see how you can uh, benefit each other if they happen to be in business or whatever. You know, comment, compliment, compliment, compliment. Everybody loves compliments. The more compliments you give people, 
the more receptive people are to you. Alrighty, so I hope this session was, was good today and that you enjoyed it. In the comment section, just give me a heart if you like this session, whether you're live or you're catching the recording. We love you guys. We want to make sure that everyone benefits from everything that we're learning on the Eric Worre platform through Accelerator, through the 90-day drive, 90-day run. Don't give up. Even if you haven't really started up to now, Today's a new day. I always understand that. Today is a new day. Start today. Do something today. And tomorrow's another new day. The more you plan for your day, the more productive you'll become as well. So have a great one. Okay, bye.